If you have followed my channel for any extended amount of time, you know that I am absolutely in love with Gigabyte products. I really love their motherboards in particular. They're my favorite motherboards by far. And I'm not saying that that's because they are absolutely the best in every area. It's just because the overall package and how I feel like day-to-day -day users are gonna use it, not extreme overclockers, they're, they're the best for that. That said, it's with great pain that I gotta say, guys, your RGB software sucks. Oh, it's so bad. So I just wanna do this video. This isn't so much to rip into Gigabyte. That's not what I mean by this, but I was hoping that if I put this up on video and throw it on my channel, maybe they can see just some of the problems just straightforward and we can and maybe they can really start working on this system a little bit better so that it's a little easier for people to use it so first off let's just bring this camera over for a little bit all right my two rx 570s they're blue right now that was the best i could do right now i don't know what is going on but i cannot seem to get this software to work on any of the graphics cards. Now, I've tried to save this setting and every time I come back here, see it's this weird orangish red color. And this is for, oh man, so hard. So this is for the Aorus graphics card. They've got a second setting that is for Aorus 20 series graphics cards. So the new Nvidia RTX is supposed to give all these really awesome different lighting colors. On one hand, it's cool. See these little colors right here that I'm clicking on? I mean, you can control each little individual color around the fan, as well as the side logo, as well as the lighting on the top of the card. That's impressive. I love it, but I can't get this one to even push the color through. In fact, I'm not gonna touch this because of that. Let's go to the next problem I really have with this. What the heck are these? What are they? Nothing's popping up. Nothing's happening. All right, all right, all right. My bad, it wasn't caught an LED. Still don't know, don't have a clue. So if I click on this, it says select file. Okay, maybe that's for loading a profile. So this one must be uh, uh, select file. So which one is it? Are we saving a profile or uploading a profile? Or is this saving a profile and then uploading? A... I don't know. I clicked both of them, tried to make everything happen. And so it just didn't work. Now, all right. So this is using the RGB header that goes to your, your like Wraith Cool or something if you're using that. So you can click this color wheel and that seems to work fairly well. And then you can click apply and that applies it. So that's, that's not too bad. But sometimes, like for instance, I have a color scheme that fits my Hardware Hound channel. So I actually know what my RGB colors are. So if I click on this, and start deleting, woohoo! I want this to be blue, so I'm gonna go zero. Did you hear that? Zero. Zero. All right, here's the problem. If that cursor, you can't see it flashing, don't type because it won't type. So I'm gonna wait, oh, cursor, there we go. I got a zero. So let's go tab over to the next, no, don't tab over to the next field because you can't. So now we've got to click in this field and the same thing. I've got to wait, delete, wait, Delete. All right. All right. I got the deletes out. Now I'm waiting. Zero. All right. I got through that. Now, you're going to notice something else. There's no apply button here. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. All right. Same thing here. Oh, I pressed too soon. Okay. Got it. Now I'm going to go two, five, five. Now I got it. So now the problem is, is I changed a field, but the apply button doesn't come automatically. And that is awful. So I actually have to press the enter key, but once again, I had to make sure that cursor was up because if that cursor wasn't up, now I can actually apply that setting. That is awful. Like why is there this weird crappy delay in these fields? Why is it that as soon as I change a number, why doesn't the apply button shoot up instantly? So they've got some like preset colors here. Those always seem to work fairly well. I haven't had too many problems there. And if I go here, there's my 255 blue again, and I'm good. Brightness levels, not too bad. But outside of that, this software is just incredibly buggy right now. Finally, 
If I go in here to look for settings, like to update this program to check for updates automatically, I can't manually check for updates. And like I said, saving these profiles and making new ones is just, I don't know. Like I don't know which label's which. So guys, if Gigabyte, if you catch this video, I love, love your products, guys. So I'm not trying to rip you in a way that like I'm not upset like in like how dare you i'll never have you again i love your motherboard i love it so much but please let's get this software great like come on watch this guys let me just show this off real quick we're going to show this off in the review this is viper's rgb settings there look at this like ping image that pops up and then slides over here and then you've got this really awesome you know interface now it doesn't without its problems actually like for instance this what is aurora it turns out that's kind of static You're like who knows that <laughs> but this is slick it actually works pretty darn smoothly um you know clicking on the right zones and stuff it the the typing in the fields wasn't super obvious to me but i eventually figured out oh you can do that and so it was very easy for me to set lighting profiles. Gigabyte, this you want to get software that has interfaces like this or a little better. So there you go, guys. That's all I got. Like I said, guys, I love Gigabyte products. I'm not trying to knock them, but I would love to see the software get to be more professional. Catch you later.